Hello, good morning. This is Siva Devaki from uh, Mass Mailer. Thank you so much for joining the webinar today. Uh, today I'm going to introduce a uh, uh, new uh, feature that we developed uh, in Mass Mailer called Mass Mailer Docs, through which you can um, store and manage uh, documents natively in Salesforce. Uh, that way, you can actually save the file storage cost as well. So, what is uh, Mass Mailer Docs? Uh, again, as I said, it's uh, a document management feature uh, developed by Mass Mailer. Uh, it makes it easy to store and access documents right within Salesforce uh, CRM. Uh, you can store the files uh, in Salesforce using Mass Mailer Docs, but the actual files actually get stored into Rackspace Cloud Files. Rackspace Cloud Files is um, uh, very popular. Uh, the cloud um, uh, storage system uh, and then Rackspace has been there for a long, long time. And also the cost that you have with Rackspace cloud files uh, storage is quite nominal when you compare with the storage costs with uh, Salesforce. Uh, so basically in order to, uh, you know, bypass all the Salesforce uh, file storage limits, uh, and also to reduce the overall, uh, the file storage cost, uh, mass filler docs can be uh, very useful and beneficial. And what are uh, all other benefits that you get uh, from mass filler docs? Let's just take a quick look at it. If you've been using any other file servers or FTP servers, or maybe using a third party um, system or an application to storage files and you're unable to access them natively within uh, Salesforce CRM, uh, this is a solution for you, right? Uh, you can also bypass certain limits when it comes to the files, uh, file size as well, uh, that's possible. But predominantly uh, the overall usage uh, or the ease of use is, uh, you know, uh, the primary uh, goal for this particular uh, product and the feature that we developed. Uh, you can actually upload files as a private file or a public file. Uh, and if you wanna make it uh, accessible via URL uh, to those people who are not Salesforce users, you can make it as public, otherwise make it as private. Uh, you can also categorize the files because they're custom attributes that you can set on the document uh, object. Um, that will make it uh, uh, easy to search uh, and then categorize. Uh, you can also create a hierarchy, folder hierarchies, um, and then you can also create multiple file versions as well. Uh, that way it's easy to manage files if, if needed. Uh, you can also search uh, through the files very easily, and you can also search through the folders as well. Uh, you can drag and drop multiple files, that's possible. And you can uh, attach these files to any standard or a custom uh, Salesforce object. Um, or, or also you can, you can also upload these files using a form. Uh, that's possible too. You can uh, also set an expiry uh, date uh, to the public files. So if you ever needed to share files with someone, but you don't want them to really access it uh, after a certain duration, you can set an expiry time. Uh, you can also move the files between folders and uh, Salesforce objects. That's uh, that's possible too. And you can uh, upload files through uh, to Salesforce using web form if you needed to. Uh, maybe collect a um, a file from a you know public uh, a form on your website. Uh, you can embed or you can create that form uh, using Mouseware Docs. And uh, if you needed to provide this access to uh, the experienced cloud users, uh, you can certainly open this up. Uh, that way the portal access users can also upload files and access the files. And how does the pricing actually work? So if you are currently using Mass Mailer, uh, the email uh, feature, um, you, know, you can just add this as an add-on. It's called Mass Mailer Docs. Uh, add on license, uh, it costs $9.99 per user per month uh, for the regular Salesforce users. And for community users, it costs uh, $4.99 per user per month. 
Um, and if you go the annual billing, you get a 10% discount. And if you are a nonprofit, of course, you get a 10% additional discount as well. Um, you may question, okay, so how about the file storage? So you will have to open an account with the Rackspace uh, Cloud directly. Uh, it's quite safe and secure. Uh, and then they're gonna build you directly. So MassMailer does not come in picture when it comes to Rackspace uh, file storage because for the security reasons, we let you uh, actually open the account directly with Rackspace. Um, I think it costs around uh, 10 cents per GB per month, uh, plus the bandwidth cost. We don't have the exact details, but you can find the actual and the final cost by talking to Rackspace uh, team directly. Um, that way you can obtain the uh, specific cost for the Rackspace cloud file storage. Okay. Let's uh, take a quick look at, uh, at the demo here. So I plan to do a few more webinars uh, because um, this is just an introductory uh, webinar. Uh, so there are a few features that I would like to cover. Uh, so I'll continue to do uh, webinars on various other uh, features that we have in MassMailer Docs. So today, let's take a quick look at uh, how to actually um, upload files and access them. So let's say this is uh, a lead object. Um, it, again, um, I'll show you how to add this uh, section. Um, the mass mirror doc section on any other object. So let's say you're on the lead and then you go to the details page. And then here you can see mass mirror doc section that's already added. Uh, there's one file that you see that it's been added already. And if you want to create a folder, click on this, uh, create uh, this uh, new folder. And then um, just give a name, let's just call this as, um, you know, proposals, for example. Yeah. And then um, so this is a, a folder for a proposal, something on this max, and then save it. So that basically creates a folder under, uh, again, if you go to the lead, uh, to that uh, section, you can see proposals. And if you want to create a file under this particular um, the folder, you can always upload a file. You can also create multiple, like you can always create another folder under this if needed. So let's say you wanna upload a document, all you need to do is just go there and then you can um, go upload a file. Uh, so you can click on it or drag and drop an example. Um, um, let's say I wanted to just upload uh, an image file. Um, just gonna go find out uh, something that I wanted to upload. All right, so let's just go upload this particular image. Uh, and it, uh, it automatically uploads it. And there are a few other um, uh, the values that you can uh, store them if you if needed. Uh, otherwise, you just have to drag and drop and the default values are populated. Uh, so once uh, the upload is done, you can go to the particular folder and you can see that this is the file that we actually uh, created. If you click on that link, it actually takes you to the details. Um, and there are a few other options available here. So if you click to view, click on this click to view, that's a file link. Uh, that basically downloads your file and all you need to do is just open uh, that particular file and it shows up into a window. So that's how you basically upload uh, any files. Uh, and again, there are other features that I would like to talk about in the upcoming uh, webinar series. This is just an introductory call. Um, and again, um, today we just talked about how to uh, create folders and how to upload files uh, to an object. And then um, in the next uh, uh, webinar, as I said, I'll uh, talk about more, more features. And then now I'd just like to show you the page layout. So if you click on that edit object, uh, that edit object will actually take you to the page layout section where you can actually edit. So click on the page layout and let's say we talk about this lead layout. And then here I have actually added that mass mailer doc section um, under visual force pages. Uh, so there's something called a cloud drop dynamic. And that is what uh, has been added here onto the details page. So we created a section, we just dragged and drop. Uh, we basically, um, you know, uh, added this and we uh, made sure that we have the scroll bars and then height is in, uh, height and everything has been set. 
So that's as simple as I just start dragging up this visual source page under a section called mask for the dog. So you can rename this to something else, whatever you want to call this is, right? So that's how simple it is to actually um, add this um, uh, mass minute doc section to uh, any Salesforce object. It's available on other objects as well. For an example, if you want to do it in, on the account object, for an example, so you just go there, page layouts. Uh, so let's say you want to add it to account. Uh, so you just go there. Um, and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and add a section. Uh, so, this is a section that I would like to drag and drop. And I call this as mass miller docs maybe. And then uh, just meet this on the details page. So uh, to one column, so I would just do okay. And then I go to the visual force pages and then drag and drop this uh, account, uh, the dynamic one. And then uh, that should do it. And then you just drag it up here uh, and then sc add scroll bar. You can add find the height maybe, and then say, okay, and then just save it. So that basically shows up uh, or uh, creates uh, um, like an additional section for you where you can actually upload files. So if you go to accounts, uh, so I'm gonna go select an account from this link. I'll open now uh, a test account here. I go to the details page, and then uh, if I scroll through a little bit, and then I would see the section called master box. So now you can actually go, um, you know, upload documents and upload files and stuff like that. So that's how simple it is. Uh, once again, um, I hope uh, this is uh, very helpful. Um, and if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask me. All right, uh, so no questions there. So if you uh, would like to talk to us about uh, the solution, please uh, feel free to reach us out at this particular email address or phone uh, phone number. You can also submit a request on our website. Uh, you can send an email to our company email address. Uh, once again, there's a, a weekly webinar that runs uh, every Thursday at 8, 8 a.m. Pacific. And if you are new to mass mailer, feel free to install uh, by going by, by going to our website and click on a um, uh, 30 day free trial and you can install it. Um, all these uh, videos are posted to our YouTube channel. So you can go to YouTube and type in mass mailer. You can um, you know find our uh, channel and then subscribe to it. That way you get to know if there are more videos that are coming every week. Uh, once again, thank you so much for joining the webinar today. Uh, looking forward to working with you or talking to you. Take care.